Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm the Comfy Gamer Chandler and today we are going to be reviewing the GoGroove Bass Pulse computer speaker system. We're going to go over the aesthetics and the sound quality and see if it's the best budget speaker system out there or if we can find something better. Hope you enjoy. Alrighty, first thing we're going to start off with today is the power supply, which is also the subwoofer. Personally, I like my subs on the ground, but in this instance, since it's also the power supply, it has the volume and the bass knobs on it, I kind of have to keep it within reach. I don't have any place to put it under my desk where it wouldn't be a hassle to adjust the volume and all of that, so I just keep it up here. But if you have some place that you can put it under your desk where you don't have to go out of your way to adjust it, then more power to you. I would personally love to do that, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, it also has a button on the bottom here that adjusts the LEDs. It just cuts them on and off. Very simple. It doesn't have any other features than that. You know, even though it's called the base pulse, it doesn't pulse at all. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that's not a big deal breaker. All right. And on the back, we have the power switch. We have the input and the output, both 3.5 millimeter jacks and the power cord. Aesthetically speaking, I do like the design of the speakers. I like the cracked plastic look and the LEDs just make it pop out that much more, especially the defined lines inside of the speakers, and that just adds a lot of character to my setup. And here I just wanted to show you how the speakers looked in the dark. I like it. Alrighty, we're going to test the sound quality now. I honestly don't know how well it's going to sound through a phone, but... We're about to find out. <laughs> Alright, and throughout the song I'm going to continually adjust the bass and the volume to get the best audio quality you can get. Overall, it's a really good stereo system. The sound quality is crisp and clean, the bass can get pretty deep, and the aesthetics are very nice. I really do like the LEDs that come out of the speakers and uh, the power supply. It goes with my setup incredibly well, even though they are only $50 speakers. But the thing is, the other speakers in this price range are pretty much cheaper, like in the ranges of $39.99, and I think the Logitech Z213s are like at $26.99, literally like half the price. So you're really better off getting one of those, unless like you're really wanting to match your setup. That's kind of the only thing that these speakers have above those other ones. Doesn't really justify the huge gap in the prices, but if you really, really want your setup to really pop and want to match, then yes, I would I would get these. I don't regret buying them, I really don't. But honestly, if you have a coupon or if like you can find a markdown, then they would be even more desirable. But if you're really looking for a budget speaker system, you might want to go with something else. Unless you're really trying to just match your setup. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and in the description below I'm going to leave a link to this particular speaker system plus like two others uh, for anybody who's on a budget. And if you would like, please leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed the review, if uh, there's some things I can do better. I, I, I know there's things I can definitely do better. And any tips and tricks for anything like this will be most appreciated. Y'all have a wonderful day, and thank you for stopping by.